Now, when it comes to housing, how and when the Fed unwinds its balance sheet could have a huge impact. That's because the Fed is currently sitting on $2.7 trillion worth of mortgage-backed securities. It's the largest holder of those assets. And selling, according to my next guest, would create huge dislocations that could put even more upward pressure on mortgage rates. Joining me now is Walt Schmidt. He's senior vice president at FHN Financial. Walt, it's great to see you. And this, would you say it's, it's gone from being a, a remote possibility to a, a bigger one lately that the Fed could actually try to sell these assets? Well, thanks for having me, Kelly. Certainly, it's something that's been talked about a lot more here lately. Uh, it's something that we never considered really could even happen, but certainly some of the uh, the Fed governors have started talking about it. I think this very conversation really has to do with the tension that we have with monetary policy between theory and practice. Uh, the Fed obviously wants to get inflation under control. They've talked about the fact that in the long term, they don't want to have a large holding of mortgage-backed securities. And so then it becomes a matter of timing. And of course, as we've heard a few times throughout the morning, the yield curve uh, potentially is about ready to invert. Right. Uh, so I think this tension between practice and theory is what we're, what we're really talking about. Basically, the, the concern is who would buy them? You know, if the Fed holds, you know, $2.6 trillion, the rest of the banks altogether hold less than $3 trillion worth. You throw in a That's... couple hundred billion for the asset managers. Who's going to buy them? Well, that's the whole point. The, there really isn't a buyer type out there that's large enough to take on this paper. It's one thing for the Fed to buy three to five billion dollars worth of mortgage-backed securities per day. It's much, much more difficult to sell them. In addition to the numbers you just quoted, right now, I just looked at the, the data here recently, all dealers, all primary dealers that hold mortgage-backed securities only own 50 billion right now. So if the Fed were to put out uh, bonds uh, for those dealers to bid, it would very quickly overwhelm what their balance sheets have. So one would anticipate some sort of auction process. Hmm. And then, of course, we think back to Maiden Lane back in 2010 to 2012 when they sold assets back then. But Maiden Lane was only $60 billion. We're talking 2.6 to $2.7 trillion. Wow. So it's a very large uh uh, it's a very large piece for the market to have to absorb. Do they have to sell? Could they just sit on this and go, you know what, at some point everyone pays the mortgage off and these will just run off on their own? Well, we think that's what's going to happen, right? I mean, if you look at how paydowns are happening right now, uh, a couple months ago we were paying off at 20% per year. Now we're at a rate of about 10 to 15% per year. Hmm. If you look at that and take that out into the future, uh, the, the average life then of what they own is about seven years. So you could see a much smaller portfolio over seven years. And again, it's just more of a problematic thing. Yes, they'd like to have fewer mortgages, uh, but it's just, it's very difficult. And the last point I'll make is the point that Diana made. And that is simply the fact that the market's already done the work for the Fed, the, the Fed's own work. Uh, if you look at mortgage rates, they were below 3% just a few months ago. Now they're almost 5%. So Monetary policy works with long and variable lags, as Milton Friedman said. So perhaps the Fed now is willing to, to let that happen and see what happens to the housing market going forward. Sure, because we're just in the early innings of this. What's been going on with the spread between treasuries and mortgages? Has that widened at all or could it widen? In other words, right now, mortgages have basically tracked the upward move in rates, but at some point, could they become more decoupled? Well, it already has decoupled quite a bit. So if you look at MBS or mortgage-backed security spreads to treasuries, those have widened on the order of anywhere from 40 to 60 basis points, 0.4 to 0.6 percent, just depending on what type of asset you're talking about. Uh, it, it would certainly widen more, in our opinion, if they were to sell or, or anticipate that they were going to sell. Last week, we heard some rumblings from the FOMC that that might be a possibility and spreads widen quite a bit on the order of 10 to 15 basis points just last week alone. Uh, already today, just today, uh, spreads are performing well again. So I think the market started to pull back a little bit from that idea of Fed selling. But uh, you're going to have more uh, Fed governors on your show, I think, later today and then uh, in the coming days. And so we might get more information from them. Uh, just from a market practitioner standpoint, though, it seems fairly problematic, uh, at least at this point, given the size of the portfolio, that they would be able to unwind it very efficiently. Yeah, so we'll, we'll be listening for any hint that they might feel that they have to uh, at this point but maybe they feel comfortable watching rates do what they will. Well, great to have you today. Thanks so much. We appreciate it.